when I read the script and I thought, this could be really epic. The styles, the way the camera moves. It's not shot like most actions are. We're inventing this completely anew. This fight sequence in episode four is emblematic of my whole experience with the series in the sense that it's earth shattering. We're doing a lot of Indonesian martial arts, Kali, Salat, some Sarong stuff. Kind of like a combination with my style, with my culture, with the supernatural. So we have lots of explosions, lots of fire effects, debris cannons, you name it. In this scene, in this abandoned casino, we have a showdown between the two superpowers, a Wu assassin and a Wu warlord. And it's gonna be intercut back and forth with CG, Catherine's character, who is fighting on the second level. Even though it looks very organic, it's actually very well constructed. It starts with first reading the script and having the concept meetings, finding out everybody's vision. And then training, training, training. If you get lazy or sloppy, you're gonna get hurt. One, two, three. It's such a pleasure to work with Eko Ewis. He can move very fast. Top notch assassin. Even the best martial artists from our stunt team have a hard time keeping up. They were playing back the sequence that Iko was just shooting. I thought it was on fast forward. You gotta say so. You gotta make go. So for the dodges and time and your fake home. He can do his own choreography. From a filmmaking perspective, that means we can step back and see a wider frame. When you pull the camera back, there's no hiding. You actually see these two people fighting. Everyone's been working really hard to do something different. I want to show the audience a more realistic fight. This is definitely a binge watch show. Hey, it's Lisa. Did you know that the first Kung Fu movie to break the $1 million mark was 1967's The One-Armed Swordsman? The role set off a series of one-arm roles for the star Wang Yu. He would appear in several sequels to The One-Armed Swordsman, as well as one Arm Boxer and The Flying Guillotine. Now click here below to subscribe and remember to also tap the bell to always receive our videos in your feed.